Now Sports with Sports Director Scott Lever. A big weekend of bowling is upon us here in the state line. The bowlers from the Professional Women's Bowlers Association are back for the PWBA Bowlers Journal Rockford Open at the Cherry Bowl. The event begins tomorrow with two six-game qualifying rounds. This afternoon, the bowlers were on the lanes for a practice session, getting a feel for the lanes and making adjustments to their bowling balls. This is a national tournament, the second event of the new PWBA season. The first was last week in Minnesota, where Shannon Pluhowski won. That's Shannon right there. And the last time this national event was held in Rockford was two years ago, and Stephanie Johnson right there of McKinney, Texas, won that one, so she is back. In all, there will be 75 bowlers in the competition. This is a big event for Rockford, which of course has deep roots in women's professional bowling. I mean, Rockford and PWBA are synonymous. I mean, PWBA, LPBT was based out of Rockford forever and ever, and this is home. If you ask some of the ladies that are still around from back then, they call this home. So it's very important that it comes to Rockford and we enjoy having them. How competitive is the PWBA tour right now? Are there like 10 ladies who are kind of dominating or is it pretty deep? It is extremely deep. The, the ladies who have been around bowling are really good and now there's this young group coming up that are just amazing. Here's how this event will be playing out. Tomorrow there will be two rounds of action at 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. The field will then be cut. Saturday, there will be two rounds at 9 a.m. and at 2 p.m. And then the five top bowlers will return Saturday evening at 6.30 for the stepladder finals. All that action is open to the public to watch. The cost is $10 for Friday's action, $10 for Saturday's two rounds, and then $10 again for the finals. The White